it's good to be employed but it's much better to have that vision to employ yourself especially in agriculture so they should not despise agriculture agriculture is not a dirty job it's not a dirty work it will give you freedom you will have ample time to do your own things so the more you are focused first of all the more you get that passion to do this agriculture the more you will get more engaged in it Yeah, I'm called Naboth Katumba. I'm from Rubeho, Isinjiro. Uh, it is not Isinjiro very far, but it is nearby Katete, nearby Mbarara town. So this is where we have our farm called Namo Mixed Farming. We, 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 we deal in, uh, in plants. We, we, well, we have uh, green pepper, we have skuma wick, we have spinach, we have uh, the one is called layu and uh, we rare uh, rabbits, we rare uh, choir, choir birds, we rare uh, pigs, so it's a big farm uh, whereby we have a big production and on a small, a small scale. The way I have this it is 100 feet by 100. Yeah, on this I have this project of vegetables and I have uh, rabbits and the pigs. Uh, these days we have a small piece of land. Most of us we have small pieces of land. Some people they have plots but they want to earn income from those plots. So with the vertical farming it is of a big advantage whereby we grow things going upwards. It's like when you are building a flat you grow things going upward. So and on a small scale like one meter but one square meter you can put there plants uh, like 50 plants of which uh, when you are to lay them down you can dig them on a bigger land than square feet uh, so we prefer this uh, this product uh, th th this project of vertical farming because you can put small things uh, I mean many things on small land and you earn a lot of money uh, sack farming but we found sack farming uh, it can easily be uh, uh, worn out because it is not of uh, strong material so we had preferred the one called shed net but later I discovered this uh, DPC paper it is a pulse paper which we buy and we bind uh, using uh, these nuts then we, we, we lay them down we start building uh, 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 that garden so uh, this is the best practice whereby uh, when the plant is growing, it go, its roots goes deeper and it will get enough water which will help it to have uh, good production. The, the, the first capital now is knowledge and it's passion. When you have passion for these things, well, whenever you meet challenges, still you will push on to fulfill your, your dream. So I, I had passion for these things. First of all, the, my, pro, my, my, my wife had a problem. When she was pregnant in 2012, uh, she lacked blood. And when we went to the hospital, doctors told us that she must have enough greens. So we started buying greens, buying greens, and we found it is very expensive. And we said, why can't we plant our, uh, our greens so that we can, we, we are not having all that big expenditure. So we started small with sack farming, uh, growing those vegetables and uh, later we saw uh, they, they, they were many and they were in print so we decided some people they started coming uh, at our home to buy them we sold those greens and we found now we can do business from there I visited one of my friends uh, is in Kachika Andrews so he was growing uh, vegetables and I started admiring uh, uh, farming so from there we started doing this, I started buying seeds, making uh, nursery beds, uh, transplanting, and then planting, Then we st that's how we started. Mm -hmm. But it's not labor, in labor intensive. First of all, uh, like uh, 100 by 50, uh, the, the, the plants that are 100, sorry, 100 by 100 feet, plants that are there, you can plant them on acre, an acre of land. But here it is easily manageable because uh, it does not, uh, we don't have uh, many weeds, 
we, we, we don't have, uh, it can easily be irrigated. Uh, and another thing, uh, we just manage it with, uh, with my family, my wife and our children. So it is, and again, you can plant in a small press and you have a big production. You can earn a lot on a small press, depending on how you've taken care of your, pro of your plants. And uh, then it's much better. And you don't invest much as in digging. Be because this, uh, th this garden, we make seven steps. This garden, it can take me a year or two, on, or one and a half to, to, to build another garden. Here I just use a stick, then I irrigate, then I plant again. Mm. Uh, I was working, I worked with the government, uh, we are the pioneers of national ID, I worked with NILA, uh, I worked with the migration, so, but uh, I had always preferred to be self-employed. So I started focusing, what can I do so that I can be self-employed? So I, I said how to engage in farming. So we started with uh, big pigs, pigs in 2017. Uh, but I was still working. My wife was the one take care, take caring, was taking care of of those pigs, and they were looking good. But later we got a challenge of swine flu. Uh, but later we started again. So from there we are rearing pigs as well alongside uh, growing vegetables. So. Later, I said, now this is the time to, 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 do, to be with my wife and uh, we do that business together. I, I, I chose to leave the job so that I can come and concentrate on my project. Because I knew it was not going to be easy for her to manage it alone, so I had to, uh, I had to leave everything I was doing so that I can employ myself. And now the benefits, you know, uh, monthly, I know how it means to to earn monthly, but it's much more better to earn on weekly basis and actually on daily basis because every day people here they are coming to buy greens, they are coming to buy eggs, quail eggs. So we are earning more money than what we are earning before when I was still employed. Like four to five crates, uh, depending because sometimes they don't lay depending on the conditions where they are in. Uh, when you change in their food, uh, when uh, sometimes when you change in what you have been feeding in, when there is uh, much noise, sometimes they will not give you eggs. But on weekly basis, I've been getting four trays, and uh, four trays to five trays, and each tray I'm selling it at fifteen thousand, and it has eighteen eggs. It's a small tray, mm -hmm. so it has eighteen eggs. I'm selling it at fifteen thousand, so I can get at least. Uh, 60 to 50,000 a week. Yeah. So, my future plan, yeah, you know, uh, why I left this job, you know, me, uh, I'm a born again Christian. So, I decided to serve God. God called me to serve Him. So, I saw I, it was not going to be easy to remain being employed by other people as well as uh, doing God's work. So, I chose to employ myself. So that I can, it can give me enough time to do God's work. So that's why I left the job. And when we started earning from this on small scale, we discovered that there is a big market. The more farm we have, the more income we shall earn. So we chose to go vertical farming, to go piggly, to go rabbit farming. So in that. Our future plan is to expand this farm so that where now I'm getting, uh, because on this uh, um, I'm getting like one sack and a half or two uh, on weekly basis. So my plan is to have many sacks on weekly basis, at least four to five or six on small press. So uh, the future plan is to buy more land and we expand this project and we expand the animals we have so that we can earn more income. We also want to put here shade net. We have a problem of uh, dry season. When it is a uh, uh, dry season, the, there is little water, and these plants, they need an, a lot of water. They need enough water so that they can give you enough production. So we are planning, so far we have uh, water tanks. We have built more water tanks. We have the capacity of uh, like 
uh, 40,000 liters. So we want to build more uh, water tanks so that we can be harvesting that water during uh, rainy season and we can, it can help us during dry season. And we want to put there also a uh, greenhouse so that we can cover these plants. During sinus season, it is not going to affect us because that, uh, we get in uh, a lot of money when it is sinus season. Dry season, we earn a lot because there is raw production and the demand is high. So that's our target. We target much uh, in dry season uh, than because in the rainy season, many people they are growing, but in dry season, they are very few. I left my job 2004, uh, 2022. Now it's one year plus when do I, why are you doing this? Before we, I was doing it alongside this, my, my wife was the one managing it. Okay. But later I said, the other it was on small scale, but I said let me go uh, a large scale. So uh, I've now spent a year uh, doing this. Uh, the community first of all, we have put on a grocery. They have been coming here to buy these products. And uh, these products uh, they, they, they like greens. By the way, we grow even tomatoes on that, in that plantation. We grow tomatoes, but now we have harvested them. So they come to buy uh, greens, vegetables from here, and we sell them at a cheap price. Uh, and again, um, these people, we are, we are training them. They are learning how, actually they are getting supplies, because most of them, they have a big land. But they, are not, they have not been uh, planting these things. They don't have vegetables. They are just spending money buying. But now they are getting ideas to go and do, uh, to do this vertical farming on the small land they have. Even they can do it in their compounds. And then so that they can get vegetables as well as for, for income. And again, there are some people who, have been, who are so much interested in this. Now we have started installing this vertical farming in their homes. They come and I ask. The, the challenges we have here, mm. first of all, uh, is a shortage of water when it is during dry season. That's why you are trying to invest much more in harvesting rainwater so that it can help us during uh, dry season. So again, the, the, the another challenge is pesticide. Pesticide, that's why every week we have to spray. We have to spray so that we can have these uh, uh, products, uh, we can have the vegetables grow very well, not being affected by the pests. So uh, again, we have uh, the, the also uh, another challenge. We don't have any challenge of market because the market is available and actually we don't have enough to supply the market. So uh, uh, another challenge, also laborers. Sometimes we look for laborers. These young guys, they don't want to do farming. So we get so challenged whenever we want to do something small here and we find that we are not getting them in time. So also it's challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, President Museven because he had given us enough advice to do small things, uh, to do many things or big things on a small land. So uh, his advice, I bought it and um, that's why I'm doing all this. I'm trying to engage more in farming so that I can also be uh, a person where people they can learn from me and they start doing uh, or bring in more innovations whereby they can do much better than what we are doing right now. So I'm advising, I'm advising the, the, the youth. Youth, they think in agriculture there is no money because uh, uh, our parents have not earned a lot from agriculture because they are doing subsistence farming. But whenever you have this idea of doing commercial farming, you produce for your family or for yourself as well as producing for the market where you'll be earning a lot. So it's good to be employed, but it's much better to have that vision to employ yourself, especially in agriculture. So they should not despise agriculture. Agriculture is not a dirty job, it's not a dirty work, it will give you freedom, you will have ample time to do your own things. So the more you are focused, first of all, the more you get that passion to do this agriculture, the more you will get more engaged in it.